Flaring Tool Demonstration Mark the upper tube length with the dimension found in Step 3, Table 2 from the Drop Tube Worksheet. Measure the upper section of the drop tube with a tape measure from where it connects to the mechanical overfill valve to the dimension from Table 2, Upper Drop Tube Length. Mark the drop tube using a black fine point marker or pencil. This will be the length of the upper drop tube section of the drop tube after flaring. Measure an inch and a half to two inches further up the dropper tube length and mark the drop tube using a black fine point marker. This will be your rough cut mark. Using a hacksaw or sawzall, saw through the upper drop tube on the rough cut mark. This cut does not have to be straight. Installing the drive ring. Position the drive ring with the alignment markings facing forward on the upper drop tube length mark. There should be approximately one to two inches of excess upper drop tube beyond the drive ring. Tightening the drive ring. Alternately tighten the four hex screws on the drive ring. Check that the drive ring is still on the mark made for the drop tube. Confirm that the drive ring is tight and that there are no gaps between the two pieces of the drive ring. Locate the flaring roller, the short hex screw, and the long hex screw. Before installing the drive ring into the flaring tool, confirm that the cutting blade along the bottom of the tool is out of the way. Position the upper drop tube with the drive ring into the flaring tool. Use the wing nut to tighten the drive wheel into the drive ring groove just enough to create a light tension between the drive wheel and the drive ring. To perform the precision cut, apply light hand pressure on the cutter handle and rotate the drop tube to cut the proper dimension. Do not apply excessive pressure. Should the drop tube not turn, tighten the thumb screw tension until the handle drives the drive ring. After the drop tube is cut, there should be one quarter inch of material remaining. Locate the flaring roller and the long hex screw. Use the long hex screw to connect the flaring roller to the flaring tool. Turn the long hex screw until it is snug. While turning the flaring tool handle, slowly tighten the long hex screw, applying continual pressure until a 45 degree flare is made. The hex screw will bottom out and become tight. When this happens, stop turning the long hex screw. The first half of the flare is complete. Remove the long hex screw and flaring roller. Locate the short hex screw, install the flaring roller 
in the 45 to 90 degree position using this short hex screw. Turn the short hex screw until it is snug. While turning the flaring tool handle, slowly tighten the short hex screw, applying continual pressure until the 90 degree flare is completed. The short hex screw will bottom out and become tight. When this happens, stop turning the short hex screw, the 90 degree flare is complete. Remove the short hex screw and flaring roller. Loosen and undo the wing nut and remove the flaring tube. Loosen and remove the drive ring from the drop tube. If necessary, carefully pry apart the drive ring pieces with a screwdriver. Confirm that there is a smooth, flat, 90 degree flare.